this is Yana Smakula for SimonSaysTM.com. Welcome back for another Yippee for Yana video. Today I'm sharing yet another card for summer. I just can't help it. I'm loving these cards lately and I'm constantly inspired by all the new and fabulous products from Simon. I started to work on my card by picking out a few images from the Summer Cuddly Critters stamp set and also a palm tree image from the older Warm Wishes or Warm Christmas Wishes stamp set. I did use this same image for my last DB for Yana video and I felt like using it again because, you know, it's just so cool and so fun for summer. I'm stamping images in Simon's Intense Black ink onto white paper, and this is Nina Solar White 80 pound cardstock, and I'm actually going to stamp a couple of panels like this because I know I will need to have multiples of the umbrella and the palm tree for my today's card. The idea for this card is to imitate a pool using colored cardstock and place various elements around it coming in from the edges of my card. I completely skipped filming the coloring part of this video as it is very similar to the coloring that I shared in my last video, especially the coloring of the palm trees. And also because the coloring is just super simple, it's just basic shading and coloring using Copic markers. If you'd like to know exactly what colors of markers I used, you can find that information in the blog post associated with this video. Once my coloring was done, I used coordinating dies and cut my images out. You can see some of them on the screen here. I will go back to my coloring later and color a few more pieces as I didn't think I had enough for my card idea. I also already have some colored cardstock here. The background panel is sea glass cardstock by Simon Says Stamp and it is cut to four and a quarter by five and a half inches and it will cover the entire front of my card. Next, I have a white cardstock panel and another blue panel. This one is Audrey blue. The Audrey blue is actually what makes up the pool area itself. And the white panel creates a small edge around it, making it like a pool border, if you will. Now, this card idea can be stepped up in so many different ways if you want to. I like to keep my cards quick and simple, so I just did some basic things here to create the idea or the illusion of the pool in the background. If you wanted to, you could add some stamping to the sea glass panel to imitate tile, like the tile you would have next to the pool, and even do some coloring to make it more realistic. But like I said, I'm all for keeping things simple. I've taken the Audrey panel and I'm heat embossing vacation time sentiment onto it using my white embossing powder. So I'm adding this sentiment to the main area of my fake pool. And once I add all of the other parts and pieces and some details, it will look like a, m more like a pool and not just a piece of blue paper. I used Versamark ink and Hero Arts white embossing powder and just heat set it with my heat tool. So just simple heat embossing. Next, I added this panel onto the white cardstock panel and I, I adhered that onto my sea glass panel. Now, this also helped to flatten the paper a little bit as it warped slightly from the heat from my heat tool. Next, I started to arrange the elements and adhering them in place by first foam mounting the puppy floating in the pool in that adorable flamingo floaty. Next, I foam mounted one of the umbrellas in the top right hand side corner and I trimmed the axis off with my scissors. I wanted this card to look like as if the person is looking at the pool from the above. Now I colored and cut out a few more palm trees and noticed how I didn't color the entire palm tree image all the way to the bottom. I just colored it partially. There was no need to color the entire piece as I knew I'd be cutting it off. So I added two umbrellas, three palm tree clusters, and a beach ball onto my scene. To mimic water in the pool, I used bubble images from the Summer Cuddly Critter stamp set and I stamped a bunch of bubbles in scuba ink in between my foam mounted die cuts. There are several different bubbles in this stamp set, so I used all of them to create different looking bubbles for my pool. Next, I used a skinny strip sentiment that reads, you make everything infinitely more fun, and I stamped that in black ink onto a white paper. I also used my white pen and added highlight details to most of my images. I just recently started doing this to my colored images and I so, so love this look. You can totally skip this if you're not into it, but I think it, it's, you know, it adds a lot of interest to otherwise simply colored images. 
Next, I grabbed my glossy accents and also later my Nouveau drops, and I coated my steamed bubbles with those products. I also coated the glasses on my puppy and later the entire flamingo float. I thought about coating the entire pool area with glossy accents, and I would have done so, but I'm uh, out of the glossy accents, almost out. I just had a little bit left in the bottle, so I was worried that I wouldn't have enough product to coat the entire area here. Here you can see me using my tool in one from Spellbinders, the pokey end of the tool, and just helping spread the glossy accents on the flamingo float to make it look a bit more real. Now to code the bubbles that had three bubbles in the image, I first coated the middle one. I let that dry and then I coated the other bubbles on the right and the left hand side of the bubble. So it helps to code them one by one and not all three together, if that makes sense. Finally, once everything was dry, I adhered my panel onto an A2 card base and I added my stamped sentiment strip on top. And this finishes this video. I hope you guys will give this idea a try. If you do make a card inspired by this video tutorial, we'd love it if you could share your project and tag us on social media. We always enjoy seeing what you make. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up and to subscribe to this channel if you haven't yet done so. Thanks so much for joining me today. I will see you next time. Bye.